NATO is showing its teeth to Russia. Embarking on its biggest modernization since the Cold War, the alliance is holding one of its largest drills in decades. The military show of strength comes in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and growing military presence from the Baltics to Syria. The last time NATO regularly held exercises of this magnitude, we were in the midst of the Cold War, facing the Soviet threat. Now we have a far more unstable and potentially more dangerous situation. In the East, Russia has illegally annexed Crimea. It continues to support the separatists in eastern Ukraine. And it now appears to have entered the war in Syria, firmly on the side of Assad. And to our south, from Syria to Libya, failed and failing states have opened the door to extremist and terrorist groups eager to fill the vacuum. From the Baltics, where Russia has a naval base in Kaliningrad, through the Black Sea and annexed Crimea, to Moscow's intervention in Syria, Russia has stationed anti-aircraft and anti-ship missiles able to cover huge areas. We're very concerned about the Russian military build-up. Uh, the increasing concentration of forces in Kaliningrad, in the Black Sea, and now in the Eastern Mediterranean uh, does indeed uh, pose some additional challenges that uh, our planners are going to have to take seriously into account as we consider how to live up to the pledge that uh, we've made to defend any ally against any threat. Uh, a lot of experts talk about the so-called anti-access area denial uh, capability that Russia is developing. And this indeed will have to be uh, a key factor as we d decide what, it's nece what is necessary both to defend every ally and to deter Russia uh, from even thinking about aggressive actions against NATO. NATO's top commander, General Philip Breedlove, said the Trident juncture exercises and the testing of a new rapid reaction force would send a clear message to any aggressor. Any attempt to violate the sovereignty of one NATO nation will result in a decisive military engagement with all 28 allied nations. Our focus in NATO is that our measures remain defensive, proportional, and appropriate. But what we also make clear is that NATO's commitment to collective defense is rock solid. The exercise will test a 5,000 strong spearhead force compromising of air, maritime and special operation components as part of a 40,000 strong rapid reaction force.